Hello, my friends. Good evening. Welcome back. I can see that we have one, two, three, four, five people connected, right? I hope the rest of the of your classmates appear. I know it's uh, difficult for some of you that you're moving. So let's see. Gustavo, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Uh, perfect. You're perfect. perfect. Okay, thank you. That's nice. And here we have also Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Everything okay? Yes? Yes. Okay, nice. We're going to wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poquito más. Ya se van a conectar el resto. Okay, so we are in class number eight. Um, it means that we have 12 classes left, just 12, and we're going to finish this module. Okay, so um, here we have the topic for tonight's class is how to use may and might. Okay, may and might, that's the topic of tonight's class. And we're going to have some exercises. We're going to have some practice so we can be like very clear about this topic, okay? How to use may and might. But before we continue, here we have this. Do you like your names? Yes, no. Would you prefer to have a different names? Okay, so remember that we have first name and second name. My first name is Josué. My second name is Gustavo. In my opinion, I don't like Gustavo. I would prefer to have another, another name. Maybe, maybe, maybe Marcos or something like that. Carlos, maybe Ernesto. Maybe, but Gustavo, I don't like it. I don't like it. So I want to know your opinions about your own names, okay? Your first name and your second name. Do you like your names? Would you prefer to have different names? So in this case, we're going to listen to Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, that's perfect. I like to hear that. Okay, uh, in your case, what do you think? Do you like your name? ¿Te gusta tu nombre? Do you like your name? Yes, that's right. Okay, the first name and the second name, right? Uh, uh, equal, the, the two names equal. for me. Is the same, it. yeah, you like both names, okay. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Good. Because there are some people that they don't like their names. Okay, thank you, Oscar. What about Guillermo? Hi, Guillermo. How are you tonight? Hello. No sé si me escucha Guillermo. Okay, maybe we have some difficulties. Let's listen to Evelyn. Evelyn, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, so tell me, um, do you like your name? Yes. Okay, no problem with the, with both names. No problem. Okay, nice. But okay. 
perfect in your case. Good. Good for you. Um, let's listen to David. Hi, David. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Hello. Good evening. We are talking about if we like our names. Okay. So what about you? You like your name? Yes, I like. Yes, you like it. Okay. No problem with that. Okay. Well, that's good. Daniel, hi. What about you? Do you like your name? Hi, good evening. Um, yeah, I like my name. My first name is Daniel and my second is Ernesto. Okay, no problem with that, right? Good. Okay, excellent. Let's continue asking what about uh, Maritza? Hi, Maritza. Hello. Hello, we are talking about names. Do you like your name? Not yet. No, okay. Uh, Maritza or Elizabeth? Which one you don't like? Maritza. Okay, Maritza. But Elizabeth, yes, no problem with yes. that. Okay, yes. nice. Uh, have you thought of another name, especially in otro nombre, instead of Maritza? Uh, no. No, not really. But you know that Maritza is not okay for you, right? Mm, no. <laughs> okay, thank you, Maritza. Thank you for your opinion. What about Rivas? Hello, Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. We're talking about names. Do you like your name? Yes, I like my name, Carlos. Okay. Carlos, okay. And uh, uh, Carlos Enrique, Rivas. right? Carlos Enrique, yes. You like I your name? Like Perfect. Thank you. Good. Good for you. You like your name. What about Susie? Hi, Susie. Are you there? Hi. Good evening. Uh, we are talking about names. Do you like your name? Um. Yes. My first name I like is hey. Susana. And Carolina. But my Second name, I don't like. No. Okay, you don't like. More or less. More or less like. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe. Thank you, Susie. Good for you. What about Doris? Hi, Doris. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Do you like your names, Doris? Doris Alejandra. Um. Yes, I like, but oh. I prefer um Alejandra. <laughs> ah, you prefer Alejandra. Okay. Yes. It's okay, Ale, Alejandra, it's okay? Yes. Okay, we're going to say that. Así te vamos a llamar. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Doris, you don't like it, or more or less? More or less. More or less, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, we usually have, like, a favorite name. It is very common. Thank you. What about if we listen now to, let me see who else. Ana Cristina, hi, are you there? Okay, no, by the moment. And Johnny's listener, Rosalie and Katia, okay. So here we have this. Uh, in the case of some people don't like the, their names, and even there are cases in which a person has only one name, like Luis, like Juan, only one name. And then the last names. So that's that's more difficult because if you don't like the only name, the only one that you have. Okay. John, are you there, my friend? Hello, John. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Tisha. Okay, John, we are talking about names. You like your name? Yes, Why? I like uh, my first name. Is, my first name is John. Uh -huh. Hence, my second name, um, Carlos. I did, I like my names, but. Okay. So, but now you like it. You like your names. Yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I remember that sometimes we have some differences with our name, but good for you that you like now. Okay, my friends, we're going to continue with the vocabulary. Ways to say nice to meet you. It is very common that we uh, say just nice to meet you and the answer is nice to meet you too. 
uh, especially when you are meeting a person by the first time. For example, uh, you are new in the company and you are saying hello to everybody. So you say, after you say your name, hi, my name is Jose, nice to meet you. And the other person usually says, nice to meet you too. We have some other options. Very nice to meet you. We already said, nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Or it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. And pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Okay. So we can uh, mention one of these five uh, phrases when you are meeting a person by the first time. Okay. So I'm going to call you one by one. And I need you to say hi, hello, good evening, present. And then mention one of these phrases. Okay, please. Uh, Adi, I guess it's not here. Okay, so we go with Ana Cristina. I don't know if you're there. Uh, Car uh, Elias. Hi, Elias. I don't know if Elias is here, not by the moment. Okay, we go with Rivas. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, Claudia, do we have Claudia? No. Okay, Daniel. Present teacher. It's Thank a you. pleasure to meet you. Very nice phrase. Thank you. David, hi. Hi, teacher. Uh, nice to meet you too. Okay, good. And uh, we go now with Alejandra. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Evelyn. Nice to meet you too. Ok, Graciela. Ok, we don't have Graciela. And what about Guillermo? It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank Teacher, you. no sé qué pasó con Zoom. Se quedó ahí como congelado y me tocó cerrarlo. Yes, you, sometimes you have to close or reset. I don't know why Zoom is having problems frequently. I don't know. Uh, it is not always the internet. No siempre es el internet. A veces la, la no. plataforma se que falla. En algunos casos. Sí, okay. ahí disculpe. No lo quería dejar hablando solo. No problem. Sí, estaba con mi conciencia. Estaba hablando. Thank you, Guillermo. <laughs> Thank you for participating. Uh, I know that you are always active. Thanks. Uh, José Andrés. I don't know if José is here. Maybe not. Okay. John. Hi, John. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, very nice to meet you. Thank you. Precious. Katia. Okay, very nice. Katia. I don't know if Katia, I guess, is listener by the moment. So we have also Maritza. Hi, Maritza. Present. Pleased mm -hmm. to meet you. Thank you. Okay, Mar um, here we have Maritza. Marvin, not here, right? Noé, I guess it, Noé is not connected by the moment. Uh, Gustavo. Hello, teacher. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Oscar. Present. It's a pleasure to meet you. Good. Okay, we go with um, Rosalie. I don't know. Rosalie, I guess, is also a listener. So see. Present teacher, very nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you, Susie. And Teresa, I guess, is uh, also a listener. Okay. Um. So now here we have this uh, another phrase, right? Another phrase. But let me show you this. Yesterday, we were talking about, we were talking about can and could, right? And we had like this chart. Tenemos un cuadro. Ok. 
Okay. So in this case, uh, here we have can versus could. And obviously, it, we have differences between can and could. Ya sabemos que can significa poder. Yo puedo, tú puedes. O pregunta, puedes tú. Could es podría. Tú podrías el podría. Nosotros no podríamos. Pero también it also means pude. En el pasado de quién. ¿Verdad? No pude. No pudimos. Podías. Ok. So we have to use this. Ahora lo vamos a utilizar no como podría, sino como pude. En algunos ejercicios. This one. Me parece que no sé si ya los habíamos realizado. Porque anteriormente también estábamos practicando el can. Pero le voy a dar una. Si ya lo realizamos. We don't have problem. With this. Cuando veamos el last night. Cuando veamos last year. Algunas palabras que nos dan a entender que es el pasado, por ejemplo, ayer, el año pasado, eh, anoche, las nights, ¿verdad? Cuando veamos, por ejemplo, sí, esa, esas palabras que nos hacen eh, tener la idea de que están hablando del pasado, entonces vamos a utilizar could, ¿ok? Eh, please remember. Take a look at this. Ya tenemos esto, ¿verdad? Tenemos esta imagen, me parece, ¿verdad? Así que les dejo un par de minutos para, bueno, un par de segundos para que vean las oraciones. I recommend you to have one, two or three options in case another participant selects your sentence, ¿ok? Your number, para que no, le, no sienta que le están ganando la respuesta. Les dejo un momento para que visualicemos. Okay, let's listen to some of your uh, opinions about this. Please, I need you to tell me what um, sentence you want to complete. Uh, here we have Guillermo and Daniel. Okay, Guillermo, please. The number one, I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. That's perfect. Couldn't, no pude. I couldn't go. Perfect. Daniel and Alejandra. Yeah, number 12. Mm -hmm. 11, sorry, 11. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I couldn't hear you right now. The music is too loud. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Excellent because it's negative. But, como aquí dice right now, ahora mismo no sería couldn't. En presente sería... No, it's good. Uh, no. I can't. Sería can't. Porque diría, discúlpame, no te puedo escuchar en este momento. La música oh. es muy fuerte. Okay? okay. But thank you. Because you uh, identified that it is negative. So very nice. And we have also Ale and then Susie. Okay, Alejandra. Okay. The number seven. Yeah. Uh, sorry, and number eight. Number eight, okay. Okay. Could you see the moon last night? No, yeah. I could. 
Okay. Could no. not. Yeah, could not or couldn't. Yes, that's good. We are doing okay. Uh, Alejandra, para que no haya dificultades y todo, ya te llamemos Alejandra. Te vamos a agregar acá como vamos a eliminar el Doris de nuestras vidas. Pero serás Ale. Ok, Ale. Good. I like Ale. Thank you. Thank you to you. Ok, we go now with Susie. Ok, Susie Q. Ok, turn number three. Mm -hmm. My sister could not swim last year, but now she could. Ok, nice. My sister couldn't swim last year, couldn't. but now, pero ahora, but now she? Who? Mm, she can. Ah, uh, she can. Ajá. No chicken, okay. de pollo, sino she can. Ajá. Mi hermana Ajá, okay. no podía nadar el año pasado, pero ahora ella puede. Yes, thank you. Okay. Very nice to see. Okay, we go now with John. And then Maritza. Okay, number two. Uh, can Noel cook Italian food? Yes, he can. Yes, easy. Easy peasy, yeah. right? Can Noel cook Italian pizza. food? Yes, pizza, he can. Pizza cake. Yeah, piece of cake. Nice. Good for Noel because he can cook Italian food. That's nice. Okay, we go with Maritza and then Evelyn. Number five. Yeah. Could you read when you were four years old? Mm -hmm. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. ¿Podías leer cuando tenías cuatro años? No sé quién puede. Ver. Yes, I could. Sí, yo podía. Decir. Very nice. Okay, we go with Evelyn and then David. Number four. Number four. Hey, they go to shopping. Uh huh. Okay, they couldn't. Negativo. Mm -hmm. They couldn't go shopping. No pudieron ir a la de compras ayer because the store was closed. Okay. Porque la tienda estaba cerrada. La tienda estaba cerrada. Thank you. Eh, David and Oscar. Uh, 14. Mm -hmm. How many hot dogs can you eat at one time? Yes, I don't know how many you can eat. No sé cuántos ustedes pueden. For example, chorizos. Chorizos are really good hot dogs. There are some people that they eat like two or three or four. Well, depends. Thank you, uh, David. We go with Oscar. And after Oscar, we go with Jose. Okay, number six. Mm -hmm. Ellie can ride a bicycle. She rides it to school every day. That's correct, my friend. Bingo. Yes. Okay, uh, Jose and then Gustavo. Okay, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I can read Without my reading glasses, what are they? Okay, I can. Yes. Very nice. Okay, Gustavo. And then we go with Rivas. Okay, teacher. I can drive a truck when I was only 60 years old. Okay, yes. But they are talking in past. When I was 16. So... Instead of can, we're going to use could. Yo podía manejar un camión cuando tenía 16 años. Thank you. Okay, we go with Rivas. Please. Number seven. I am very tired, so I could go up to the park to play. Okay, but it is in present. Estamos hablando en presente. Can. Yes. Can. Estoy cansado. Así que no puedo okay, salir sure. al parque. So I can't, uh, I'm sorry. Negative. I cannot or I can't. Okay. And uh, we have some other here. Maybe we can have the help of um, 
maybe John again. And then we go with Maritza. Okay, complete. number nine. Hmm? When could I talk to you about the company report? Okay. Could sería en podría, pero también se podría quién, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh, ¿cuándo, ¿Cuándo puedo hablarte sobre los reportes de la compañía? Okay. Thank you. Eh, Maritza, could you help me with number 13? 13. Do you oh, the three because he can can casi uh, cool. ajá mm -hmm. eh, Douglas golpeó el árbol porque él no pudo detener el carro ok, thank you and ten, let's listen to number ten maybe we can have Guillermo, can you help us please with number ten and we finish this exercise Most dinosaurs. Uh, most dinosaurs walk uh, on land, but some could fly or even swim. Yes, pero algunos podían volar o nadar. Thank you. So very nice, my friends. Here we have the answers of these exercises using can or could. Okay, in negative and also uh, question form. Okay, let's move. Here we have this. Okay. Here we have a survey. This is survey. Survey is an inquest. Okay. So what do we have here? About a customer, customer's experience with a product. I don't know if you have noticed, but when you call to Claro or you call to another company, uh, they say, please, could you complete this survey at the end of the call? So you can uh, point from one to 10, the, the attention, if it is, was good, okay? What about the service provider? If you have some problems, if you could solve your problems. So this is a service, it's an inquest. Number one, how satisfied are you with this product? Mm, dissatisfied. Number two, write your opinion about the product's quality, okay? So, very low quality. Abajo, calidad muy baja. 13. The value of this product is, el valor de ese producto es, poor, pobre. And for, will you continue using this product? No. Okay. Now, here we have the answers of this uh, person, customer. Let's listen to some of this. Okay, we're going to start in this case with Oscar. And then we go with um, David. Okay, Oscar, select one of these questions and we're going to answer. And the first. Okay. How was the customer's experience? Uh -huh. How was the customer's experience? It was good, medium, bad, excellent. Bad. Yeah. It was bad. If you notice, the answers are negative. So we can conclude that it was a bad experience. Okay, David, one, two or three. Two. Okay. If the product a good one, if the product a good one or a bad one. What do you think? Good one. Is the product good one or bad one? Good one. Well, it says the value of this product is, el valor de este producto es pobre. So it is not good, right? Because he's saying yeah. that it is uh, like poor, es como pobre el producto. Aquí dice low quality, baja calidad. So bad because it's yeah. negative. Thank you. And then okay. we go with Susie. Could you think, uh, could you pronounce number three, please? Susie, could you read number three? Think about possible problems the customer had with the product. Okay, thank you. Here we, we don't have 
details. No tenemos detalles. We don't have details about the product. So we can you we can say a lot of things, right? What are the, the problems? Maybe it if it was electrical, maybe the electricity was not good, electronic stuff, or maybe the guarantee. Yeah, a lot of uh, reasons. Well, we continue with this. Let me check something. No, this is not okay. We're going to have some practice. Siempre del can y del could. So yesterday we were uh, we were practicing conversation one and two. We're going to practice conversation three and conversation four. Always Todd and Amy. It says like this. This is it. Are you good at cooking? I can't cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah. What can you cook? I can cook an omelette and I can bake cookies. That is all I can do. Yeah, I can't cook either. So you are. So are you good at computers? I'm very good at computers. I can make websites or I can write software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. Great. Can you fix my computer? I can try. Number four, are you good with cars? I'm pretty good with cars. I can fix them if they need repairs. Yeah. What sort of things can you do? I can do lots of things like change the tire and change the the oil. Oh, that's great. Esa le, 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 le pegaba bastante a Noé. Because he's a mechanic. So, and the difficult words are basic. Basic. All. Either. Website. Software. Try. Uh, repairs. Repairs. Sort. Change. Tire. Okay, maybe you can help me sending a screenshot of this conversation and we can practice a little bit in pairs, okay? Maybe we can have Rivas can help us or I don't know if Maritza. Maybe we can have this uh, screenshot, please, my friend. Okay, no problem. Ya reviso. Okay, my friends. See you in a moment. Se lo veo en un momento. Thank you for the conversations. Los veo en un momento y vamos a practicar. Recuerden intercambiar. Maritza, ¿todo bien? Perfecto.
Okay, my friends, let's see who who wants to participate uh, with this conversation. We have three and four. Uh, conversation number three, it's longer. Un poquito más grande. And conversation four is kind of short. Okay, Maritza, could you help us, please? Um, conversation three or four? Three. Oh, okay, please, who was your classmate? Uh, Guillermo. Yes, very nice. Duo. Okay, please go ahead. Are you good at cooking? I can cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah. What can you cook? I can cook an omelette and I can bake cookies. That is all I can do. Yeah, I can I can cook either so are you good at computer i'm very good at computer i can make website and i can write software oh can you fix my a computer i can fix a computer great can you fix my computer i can try okay very nice i can try thank you uh, we uh, we're going to have john and company, you tell me what conversation, three or four. Yes, we, Evelyn, we practice. Um, Evelyn. Uh, Are you good at cooking? Uh, okay. Number three, please. Okay, nice. Um, okay. I, can took, I can cook very well. I can only make basic things. Oh, yeah, great. Can you cook? Um, I can cook an omelette and I can bake cookies. That is all I can do. Yeah, I can cook either soup. Are you go at computer? I'm very good at computers. I can make websites and I can write software. Oh, can you fix a computer? I can fix a computer. Great. Can you fix my computer? I can try. Thank you very much. And maybe we can have David with conversation four. Okay. Who was your classmate? Uh, Daniel. Okay, please. Conversation four. Okay, okay. Daniel. Are you good with cars? I'm pretty good with cars. I can fix them if they need repair. Yeah, what sort, what sort uh, of thing can you do? I can do a lot of things like change to tighten and change the oil. Oh, thanks, great. Okay, thank you very much, good. Thank you, my friends, it was a good practice. Now we're going to have the speaking activity that I send you, and here we have this, Arjun name. After anyone, I'm sorry, are you named after anyone in your family, friend, or famous person? Okay, in this case, when we say are you named, we are talking uh, that uh, if your name is similar uh, to a, a grandfather or your father. For example, my father is Gustavo. So I am named after my father because my second name is Gustavo. Así que si alguno de sus nombres son como la, la, la de sus algún pariente, si fueron nombrados por eso. Okay, so you tell me. We're going to start in this case with uh, Rosalie. Hello, Rosalie. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, that's perfect. What about you? Are you named? After anyone in your family, friend, uh, friend or famous person? Um, good, my my mother name. Uh, your name mother's, is, uh, uh -huh. uh, your... No, no. The my first name because she had it on a tele, telenovela. ¿Cómo se dice? Opera. So opera. opera. 
Oh, nice. So uh, she saw that, well, she heard that name and she said, I like that name. So my daughter is going to be Rosalie. Okay, good. Yes, it's part of the history of your family, right? Thank you, Rosalie. Okay, let's listen Guillermo. Okay, what about you, Guillermo? Mm, well, yes, I have the same name as my uncle Guillermo. Oh, that's good. Because your father with your grandpa, no, they are not Guillermo, right? No. And what about Eduardo? Mm, well, that name, my mother loved that name, so uh, that, that's the <laughs> I reason. couldn't do anything for that. Yes. <laughs> you can fight against yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I okay, have no good. option. <laughs> yeah, no option at all. I'm sorry for you. Okay. But good, eh, Guillermo and Eduardo, but Guillermo, it's be, because of, uh, an uncle. Thank you. Okay, what about John and then David? What about you, John? Okay, well, yes. Um, tell me, I mean, yes, um, I am named after my grandfather oh, on okay. my mother's, on my mother's, Side, but mm -hmm. it also the name of the twelve, I think, a disciple and gospel of the Bible. Bible. Ah, okay, good, good. So that's it. Uh, it's like biblical, right? From the Bible, right? Yes, uh, Bible. And also because, as you mentioned, uh, as your grandfather, right? From your mother's side. Okay, thank you. So yeah. it's a combination. Mm -hmm points. Thank you, John. Uh, what about David? And then we go with Maritza. Okay, teacher. Uh, yes. My name is, my first name is David. Mm -hmm. David was some, someone famous. He was the first kind of Israel. My father's name is also David too. Okay, yeah. Uh, David was a, a king. Okay, from Israel, okay. And what about Emmanuel? Emmanuel, uh, my second second name. Yeah, because is... of the bull as well, or something like that? No. His uh, is, is name, como es biblico? Ah, yes, from the Bible. Take care from the uh, Bible, okay. Thank you. Uh, what about Maritza? And then we go with... Just let me see. I'm going to ask to Oscar. Okay, Maritza. In my case, in my case uh, the first name is for my mom. And the second name is for my aunt. Okay, your mom is Maritza? Yes. And your aunt? Right. Is Elizabeth. Yes. You're a combination. Mom, yes. Maritza is the name, se, second name. Ah, it's her second name. But in your case, is your first name. Thank yes. you, Maritza. <laughs> good information. Okay. Very good pronunciation. On. Si decimos ant, es hormiga, como ant-man. Pero se dice ont, como que si fuese así, ve. Realmente es la combinación de la O y la A, ont, ah, no ont, ¿verdad? Pero es una manera de explicarlo. Ok, eh, what about Oscar? Are you ready, Oscar? Yes, uh, my first name is Oscar and my second name is Eduardo. Mm -hmm. uh, Oscar is by my father. He, his name is the same. And Eduardo is because my mother... Uh, take the decision of of name it this ah she liked uh, that, that that name eduardo so yes, similar to guillermo uh, your mom says i like that name eduardo it's a good name so for my baby and oscar is the name of your father is uh, the same his first name yes the okay. second name of my of my father is guillermo Okay, so, uh -huh, Oscar Guillermo. Okay, that's it. So, 
it is like very common in El Salvador that the name of the father sometimes is the same name of, of the son, right? Especially the first. Yes, one. that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, to my son, I I pay the my second name. Ah, okay, good. Yes, it's like a change. I guess it is like a good yes. tradition. I like it, in my opinion. Yeah. If I had a, a kid, I would like to have my name. Yeah. Thank you, Oscar. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. We go now with maybe one more person. Maybe we can have Katia. Hello there, Katia. Hello, good evening. Good evening. What about you? Your name? Um, I like my two names, but not together. <laughs> my <laughs> first name was close my mom because she liked it. And my second name is Maria and is the same as my mother and my grandmother. <laughs> Oh, very nice, because it is like a tradition in three generations. It is very important. That's really important. It's a form to, to have like a family in your name. Yeah, good. Yeah. So, Katia Maria, that combination, not for you. you don't no. Know. Come yeah. on. It Katia does... or Maria. <laughs> Come on, both names are, are nice. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We're going to continue later. Now here we have this. We we have can, may, and might. If you can have a screenshot, it would be good. Le serviría un screenshot de esta, si la pueden mandar. Okay, so here we have can. Can means capable of doing, so ability. I can swim, I can draw, I can, I can play the guitar, I can cook, okay, so ability. Here we have may. May is used to ask permission or to say there is a fair possibility. Uh, that's why uh, when you are in a meeting or you are in an English class, for example, you can say, teacher, may I go to the bathroom? May I go out? May I come in? Because you are trying to ask permission, okay? Or there is a third possibility of something. Remember this. Como hay una, una, una posibilidad bastante cercana de que pase algo. Okay, so when you have like uh, something, yeah, to happen, and here we have might. It is may, como la tía made Spider-Man, okay, o como mayo, may. And here we have might, might. It used to say there is a possibility, but it is not very likely. Okay, my, may is a Possibility, a close to, to, to happen. Está cerca de que pase. May, una posibilidad. But might, it, yeah, there's a possibility, but you are not sure. It's like, yeah, maybe yes or maybe not. Okay? So, uh, here we have the three definitions of these modal auxiliaries. Very important. Can, may, and might. And we usually have, like, uh, confusion related to this. Let's continue with some exercises. Here we have this, and I will need you to help me reading. We're going to start in this case uh, with, maybe we can have Gustavo. I need you to read May, sentence number one. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, okay. Uh, number one. And number two, please. I may uh, ask for red, red boom. Refund, okay. Mm. Number two. You may buy a, a different store. Thank you, okay. And the number one is very interesting. Ah, podría pedir por un reembolso. It's like, yeah, you are thinking 
and you're going to do it, como que lo vas a hacer, okay? And number two, you may buy a different uh, store. So maybe uh, you, don't, you are on the store, but you don't like it, so you're going out to another store. Okay, Daniel, please, number three and number four. You may not. They may not provide a good service. Yeah, service, yeah. Imagine service. Uh, uh, related to any, uh, for example, Digicel or Tigo, let's, it's an example, or Claro, or whatever, and you have a bad experience, you can give an opinion. Mm, they may not provide a good service, okay? And here we have this, Daniel, please, in number four. It may not raise your expectations. Expectations, yeah. Talking about the product, imagine, uh, for example, Oscar bought a cell phone and you consider that that cell phone is not a good uh, purchase because of the camera, the storage, um, it has like some problems. So you may say, it might not reach your expectations. No va a cumplir, no puede alcanzar tus expectativas because you have proofs, pues tienes pruebas. You have a very clear idea of something. Let's move, uh, might. We're going to start with Guillermo, please. Guillermo, she might. She might want a refund on those units. Mm -hmm. But they you are... might complain about the service. Okay. In this case, you doubt. Como que, mm, te está dudando, yeah. She might, she can do it, yeah, si lo puede hacer. But she might... And the number two, they might complain. Ellos se pueden, pues, quejar. That's it. And what about uh, three and four? We're going to have, um, let me see, Evelyn, three and four. We, we might ask to fail with the supervisor. Okay. He might not put good hair at time. Here again. Okay. Yeah. Imagine you are in a restaurant and you have some difficulties there is, and you have a bad service. Sometimes in a group, there one, there's one person that says, I want to talk to the supervisor. And there are some other in the group that says, come on, no, relax, relax. Siempre hay alguien como que más eh, explosivo. So uh, we may ask to talk with the supervisor but, well, it is not so sure. Okay, here we have uh, some, here we have some sentences. We have to complete this. The exercise, the exercise is this. Uh, create sentences using the words provided in may or might. Write a complement when needed. Vamos, podemos escribir un complemento si es necesario. Si no, pues, take a look and we're going to complete them in a moment. Ya lo vamos a completar en un momento. Take a look. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Eh, even, I'm going to be clear with you. Voy a ser claro con ustedes. Sometimes we have some grammar structures that are similar. For example, ing and going to and will. Y como que hay diferencias entre el will, que es no muy probable, el going to si es probable, el ing también es probable. A veces el momento de hablar inglés, Pueden 
utilizarse de otras maneras, pero la comunicación está. Así que intentemos hacer esto, pero no nos, no, no, no nos enfrasquemos en el punto de que esto sí es así, esto no. No, English is like a very flexible language. Es un idioma bastante flexible. So, eh, maybe we have to focus on acquiring more vocabulary fluency y no en algunas pequeñeces. But let's try to do it. Okay? So, here we have from one to six. Um, do we have volunteers for completing these, um, these exercises? Okay, here we have David and Oscar. Please, David. Uh, number one, uh, he might, might not be satisfied. Okay. Satisfied. Eh, puede decir satisfied, pero como hay una T entre dos vocales, se pronuncia como R. Satisfied. Yeah, good. Thank you, David. Well done. We go with Oscar, and then we continue with some others. Okay, Oscar. The, no, the number three. Okay. The service, the service might not be excellent. May or might. Might, right? Yeah, like this? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Not be excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Oscar. Okay, maybe we can have the participation of Daniel. And then we're going to have Rivas. And the number four, mm -hmm. uh, you, you may recommend it. Yeah, recommend the restaurant, just to have a compliment. Yeah, you may recommend the restaurant. Thank you. Okay, Rivas, what about you? And then we can have Alejandro. Number six. Please. Amanda might not use. What? Vamos a escribir algo más. Amanda, okay, may not use. Maybe we can have public dress. The dress. Oh, the dress. That dress. Porque le queda feo. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's very acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, what about Alejandra? Are you there? Two or five? If Alejandra is not there, maybe we can have the participation of John. Two or five? Um, five. Okay, five. The way they're, the way they're uh, mild. Okay. Being yeah, Aubrey. Mm -hmm. Being Aubrey. In hurry, puede estar como apurado. Thank you. And we're going to finish with uh, Guillermo, please, number two. Maybe you can help us with the guarantee. Okay, maybe Guillermo is having some difficulties. But let's see, the guarantee, yeah. Here we have some possibilities. May not or maybe longer. Okay. So we're going to have more exercises here. Thank you. Let's move to this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we have ten. But remember this. Ten. Capable of doing something, capaz de hacer algo, may ask for permission, permiso or per possibility, una gran posibilidad de que pase algo. Might is used uh, for a possibility, but it is not very likely. It's not so close. No está tan cerca esa posibilidad. Okay. So based on these uh, definitions, we here we have these uh, ten sentences. Some of them are questions some others are exclamations i'm going to give you some seconds take a look i recommend you to have two or three options in case your classmate 
takes uh, your center. Okay, my friends, let's see uh, what Daniel, yeah, you're ready, right? Um, tell me, what okay. number? Okay, um, the number one, uh -huh. may I close the door? Yes, because you're asking permission. May I close the door? Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know what, I'm... this is failing. Okay, we have Guillermo. Number two. I can go on holiday to Spain. I can, right this? Yes, I can. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, there. Uh, here we have, uh, who else, who else? Rosalie. And then we go with Evelyn. Mm. Number number nine. Okay. My mother can telephone me today. Okay. Yeah, could it be? Thank you. Okay. Uh, who else? Evelyn and Katia. Number four. Mm -hmm. My my. Eat. Uh -huh. The last apple, when I the último, may I eat the, the, the last apple? Okay, and we go with Katia and then we go with Gustavo. Okay, number three, I can drive. <laughs> Easy, right? I can drive. Very good. Okay, we go with uh, Gustavo and then we go with Maritza. Okay, teacher, quiero ver. I may, I may eat a stick tonight, tonight. Yes, I may, I possibly, I may eat stick tonight. Thank you. Maritza and Oscar. Number eight, uh, I can swing. Yeah, that's an ability. Oscar and we go with John. Number 10, mm -hmm. I may win the lottery this weekend. Okay. Thank you. Who else? John, and then we go with Susie. Okay, I try. Um... I can lose faster than my brother. Yeah, that's an ability. Mm -hmm. Susie, can you help us with a uh, number seven, I guess? Seven. Yeah, um, I live. Mm -hmm. I may live to be more than a hundred years old. Okay, <laughs> maybe it's possible, I don't know. How possible could it be? But okay, let's say yes. Well, my friends, let's continue with are you named after anyone in your family, friend, or, or famous person? So in this case, we, we have to continue. And I like to listen to Gustavo and then Susie. Okay, Gustavo. Okay, teacher. Tell us. Yes, my name is Noé Gustavo. My first name is similar to my father. Okay. But I, I don't like that name. Okay, you don't like that name. Okay. 
So, uh, which one you don't like, Noé or Gustavo? Uh, Gustavo. Gustavo. You don't like Gustavo. Uh, I like Gustavo. You, Noé, you don't like Gustavo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very yeah. good. Point. Okay. Uh, very nice explanation. Susie, and then we go with Evelyn. Okay. Um, my name is uh, Susana Carolina, mm -hmm. but my older sister gave me my first name after the song Susana from uh, the group Menudo. Menudo at that right? time, at that time, the musical group was very fashionable. Yeah, Menudo uh, was like um, uh, uh, on the top of, of the boy band. In Spanish, yeah. yeah. Even uh, I, my... I like some menudo's songs, of course. <laughs> and that's not my, 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 my decade. No era de mi década, no era de mi época. No? But good music. So what about Carolina? It's from another song. Hmm. Um, my mother, uh, uh she's like the name. Uh, she like the name, yeah. It is very common that mothers have like a favorite name. So that, that's why, right? We have our names. Thank you, Susie. Uh, we go with Evelyn and then Rivas. Okay, Evelyn, what about you? Okay, my name is Evelyn Karina. I don't have a family or family name. Oh, really? So you, your names are just a uh, favorite from your parents. But it is not a similar name from your er, any relative, right? Family member. Okay. An exception. You are the exception. Thank you. Uh, what about if we listen to uh, Rivas and then Alejandro? Hey, teacher. My name is Carlos. I have the same name as my, as my father. And I am privileged because out of cinq, five siblings, I am the only one with the same name. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, and, and you are like, very fortunate. Yeah. Good. Yes, teacher. As I, I, I was telling that there, there is one boy from, from the family that the, the father wants to have his uh, own name. Thank you. What about if we go with Alejandra and then Daniel? Okay, the, my first name is my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Um, Doris. And Alejandra, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, maybe because somebody liked the name. Yes. Okay, but you don't like Doris. You said you don't like Doris. Why? But mm, I like, her. I prefer Alejandra. Okay, you like that. That's the correct answer. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, please, my friend. Okay. You go. Um, in this case, uh, my first name is Daniel, and my second is Ernesto. And in my family, no, no one has, no one has my name. My Good. father is uh, Rudy, and nothing is Daniel or. Ernesto. Oh, very nice. So you are the exception, like a different. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very nice. I don't know if we have Teresa or Ana Cristina or Graciela or Claudia. If not, we're going to have some practice. We're going to have some speaking and here we have to look at this. Here we have 12 uh, we're going to work with synonyms, okay? Synonyms are words that have a similar meaning. Example, big, large. Sometimes we consider that large is largo, but no, large means grande. Big means grand, okay? So find the correct synonym for the word on the left. I need you to have some screenshot in this because we have categories. So number one, begin. We have three options, stop, start, finish. 
you have to select the option with your classmate. Maybe we can have, I don't know if, uh, who helped me before. Alguien creo que me con screenshot. Here we have two, uh, two pages. Uh, John or Rivas or Maritza. Thank you, John. Here we have the first one. And we have some other. Is this? También tenemos esta. Similar. Uh, in this case, uh, we have a sentence. For example, number one. The girls were surprised when they saw the beautiful flowers the delivery boy brought. So, instead of beautiful, we have frustrating, pretty, fast, orange. So, what you have to do is to select one of these options and to complete the sentence. And if you change the word, the sentence is going to have a similar meaning, not a different one, because we are talking about synonyms. Okay. So, uh, here we have this. I'm going to, well, when we come back, cuando regresemos, we're going to check it. Okay, my friends. So let me see. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. Alejandra, you have problems, then difficulties. Te envié la solicitud. Ahorita, wait. Thank you.
Okay, we're going to start completing this. And here we have some of the options from one to 12. Let's see, what do we have? And um, I know that you have worked in this. We're going to start in this case with Guillermo and then Oscar. Okay, Guillermo, select one. Tell me what number. Mention the word here and the word from the category. Okay, if the the number one is begin begin, and the okay. synonym is start. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Start. Okay, what about Oscar? And then we go with Rosalie. The number two near the synonyms is close. Yeah, perfect. Close. And we go with Rosalie and then Daniel. And number three is small, synonymous is tiny. Tiny, yeah, the synonym. Thank you. Daniel and David. The number four, long is uh, big. Okay, loud is ruidoso. Es algo fuerte, like loud music. Big is grande, quiet is calmado. I guess it's noisy. Noisy, I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you. Uh, David and Katia. Okay, number five, talk. Mm -hmm. yeah, speak. Yeah, speak, thank you. Katia and Evelyn. Okay, number six, math is angry. Yeah, angry. Uh, Evelyn and John. And number seven. A dump a wash. Okay, here we have John and Maritza. Eleven work a room. Yeah, thank you. We go with Maritza and then we go with Gustavo. Hey, fix repay. Thank you. Okay, Gustavo and then Susie. Uh, number nine is home mm -hmm. uh, world. Thank you. And we go with Susie and Rivas. Susie, 10 or 12? 12. Mm -hmm. Jump and leap. Thank you. And uh, Rivas, number 10, what do you think? And? And finish. Yeah, that's it. If you notice, there are some synonyms that are very logical, but there are some others that are kind of uh, difficult. Okay, let's complete this. Here we have just eight sentences. We're going to start this with uh, Maritza. And then we go with Susie. Okay, Maritza, say one of these. Number two mm -hmm. is lengthy. Okay, number Lerby. two. Lerby. Okay, long. Yeah. Long. Length. Thank you. Okay, we go with Susie and then Jose. Okay, Susie. And number three, mm -hmm. Jennifer was the hot dog was winner when I fell into the fire. A uh, leather A, flames. Flames, thank you. Okay, we go with Jose and then Alejandra. Okay, uh, I choose number six. Mm -hmm. Yes. The boys on the soccer team were hungry after the game, so they want to eat pizza. Starving. Yeah, starving, estar muriendo de hambre. Hungry, hambriento. Thank you. Alejandra. Muriendo de hambre. Ah, yes. Starving es cuando te estás muriendo de hambre. O sea, tener una gran hambre. That's it. And hungry is you want to eat. So, starving, yeah. It's synonym. Okay. 
Thank you. We go with Riv Alejandra and Rivas. Okay, Alejandra. Well, if Alejandra is not available, we go with Rivas. And number and the, four. Uh -huh. The librarian asked the children to be silent because everyone was trying to study. Let her see quiet. Quiet. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay, we go with Daniel and then John. Okay. The number one, the girls were surprised when they saved the beautiful flowers. The delivery boy brought beautiful is pretty. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful pretty. Thank you. Okay, John, you go. Okay. And then we go with I Pierre. try. Number five. Yeah. My grandpa made the new dollhouse. Yes. Complete complete with miniature furniture for every room. Mm -hmm. And I think tall. Okay, uh, with miniature furniture. Miniature is small. So could it be tiny? Because tiny, tiny. is small. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, seven or eight. Um, Guillermo. Okay, I don't know if Guillermo has problems. If not, we go here with um Oscar. Are you there? Yes. Seven or eight. Seven. Okay. Mrs. Blackwell assigned a, diffi a difficult project from the student to complete during their vacation. Uh -huh. Difficult, the synonym is hard. Hard, yeah, that's it. Okay, we have number eight, the last one. Here we have this. Maybe we can have the participation of Maritza, the college professor. The college. Professor was wife and gave the new student a lot of good advice. Wise? Intelligent? Yeah, intelligent. Wise is a synonym of intelligent. Thank you, my friends. Very nice. You are doing good with, uh, with the synonyms. We're going to work later or, well, some other class with antonyms or antonyms are related to opposites, contrary words. Okay, we're going to have a listening. And in this case, I need you to, well, to be ready. We're going to have this just for us to have some practice of listening. It is always important to be like very uh, active listening, identifying vocabulary, words, phrases, main idea okay so let's listen and uh, it is just one minute but i'm going to play two times so we can have the opportunity to listen i think this photo was taken a long time ago possibly in the 1960s or 1970s i know it was taken so long ago because of the clothes the people are wearing and also because the office looks so old-fashioned. Everything in the office is so simple. There's no modern technology, no computers or fax machines or photocopiers or anything. Such offices don't really exist now, do they? The office where I work is very different. It's more like a home and less like a workplace. Actually, I think I can see one phone in this office it's black and looks like the old phones without bottoms. It will be in a museum today. There are photos of ships on the wall. Perhaps this is a company that owns big ships and the floor is so shiny. If you walk on that floor with new shoes, you can fall over. It will be like walking on ice. I don't like this office. It's such a boring place. Okay, let's listen one more time. I think this photo was taken a long time ago, possibly in the 1960s or 1970s. I know it was taken so long ago because of the clothes the people are wearing and also because the office looks so old-fashioned. 
Everything in the office is so simple. There's no modern technology, no computers or fax machines or photocopiers or anything. Such offices don't really exist now, do they? The office where I work is very different. It's more like a home and less like a workplace. Actually, I think I can see one phone in this office. It's black and looks like the old phones without bottoms. It will be in a museum today. There are photos of ships on the wall. Perhaps this is a company that owns big ships and the floor is so shiny. If you walk on that floor with new shoes, you can fall over. It would be like walking on ice. I don't like this office. It's such a boring place. Okay, my friends, uh, what do you think? Maybe we can have some ideas, phrases, and uh, we're going to start, I don't know if we have volunteers, or if not, maybe we can, I can select some of you, but I'm going to start with Oscar, and then John, please, tell me what you identify. Uh, okay, I listen, he say so his photo was taken uh, a long time ago, in 96 or 97. Uh, everything in the office is so simple. No, there is no modern technology. Uh, Ahora uh, hace 23 uh, grados con cielos jugosos en mexicanos. Uh, Esta he say it would be like walking on ice and he say it don't like uh, this office. Very nice. Good, good example. Thank you, Oscar. John, and then we go with Katia. Okay, I'll try. Let me see. Um, 16, 17, I know it was taking so long ago mm -hmm. because it was the close. Okay. I remember, okay. no? Yeah, and yeah. and I know it was taking so long ago because only only teacher. Okay, but very good because it was the date and remember the date. Uh, it's not so easy. Thank you, uh, Katia. And then we we'll listen to maybe Rivas. Okay, uh, let's like a workplace. Actually, I think I can see one form. In his office, this black and look like the old phone without models. It will be a museum, museum today. Um, there are photos for sharps on the wall. And I don't like this office. Okay. Yeah, definitely that person doesn't like that office. Okay. Good. Uh, I don't know if uh, Susie, I'm sorry, Rivas and Susie. Hey, teacher, I think this photo a time alone, the clothes that people like wearing, this modern technology, computer, fax machine, in the office, her work is different. Thank you very much. Okay, Susie and Jose. I'm sorry, teacher, but I don't listen very good the audio. Okay, you couldn't. Okay, thank you. Jose and Daniel. Okay, teacher, in my case, I just hear about a one guy where right? someone tells some another person about that photo that basically was taken in the 1960s, right? Even before of the 70s, they get right. And talking about that, that office is old school, right? Back in the days, right? Because there are no machines, right? There are no computers, right? At that time, doesn't doesn't exist maybe right, and definitely that guy hates that office because mm -hmm. our days is different about that time. Okay, thank you. And yeah, then, very good point. Good, uh, Daniel, please. I don't. Uh, I don't can. I don't hear very well, but I can hear. Uh, he doesn't like the office. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely he doesn't like. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're about to finish. Uh, Jose, 
we were talking about uh, the activity related to um, if you were named after someone, si, fu si fuiste nombrado como alguien en tu familia. I don't know in your case if you were named because uh, of a person. The speaking activity that, that I sent. In my case, I am named after a person, maybe uh, a normal person, right? Because in in all my life, many maybe many times, right? I I met I met someone with my with my name, right? You know, perhaps mm -hmm. they used that name also in other places, and I didn't know. Okay. Or just is is example as Andre Ignacio just deserve that. But normal a normal person, right? Okay. Thank you, my and friend. Had... Yeah, okay. Could it be? Thank you, my friend. Well, uh this is the text uh that you listen in the audio. Okay. Very interesting the way um uh, it was like describe uh, describe the, the photograph. So if you notice, I think this photo was taken a long time ago, possibly in the 1960s or 1970s. And, and yeah, I guess you already know this vocabulary. Let me see. Okay. Here we have this. Actually. Alguien se recuerda, somebody remembers what it's actually, what actually means? Any ideas? Actualmente. Mm, similar, es bien tricky, mm. es bien confusa. Para decir actualmente decimos currently. Currently. Ajá. Pero actualmente. Significa realmente. Y currently significa actualmente. I know. Sé que esto es un tanto confuso. Como me pueden decir, teacher, ¿cómo es posible? ¿Cómo es posible que actually no significa actualmente, verdad? Recomiendo que, que copien esas palabras. Son bien eh, confusas, son bien tricky. Actually es realmente. Por eso dice, actually I think I can see one phone in this office. Realmente, creo que puedo ver este, ¿cómo se llama? Un teléfono en esta oficina. Ok, and currently significa actualmente. Ok. Well, my friends, we're going to finish uh, this class. I'm going to call you one by one to check the attendance list. Remember to work on your homeworks because tomorrow we have classes, but uh, we're going to finish the unit number two on Monday. And also remember that we have the midterm exam. También tenemos el examen de medio curso. Okay. You have to finish this midterm uh, during the weekend. If you can do it right now, or if you did it, perfect. Pero sí, tenemos dos cosas. La tarea de la unidad 2 y el midterm. Háganlo. Tienen el fin de semana, okay? You have the weekend. Porque el lunes se voy a pasar notas. Porque vamos atrasados una clase en la que no pude estar con ustedes, okay? So let's see who do we have here. Adi, mm -mm, she couldn't be here. Anna Cristina, I don't know if she's there. Elias, no. Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia, no, right. Daniel. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, David. Present teacher. Nice. Alejandra. Evelyn. Thank you. Graciela, I don't know. Okay, Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose. 
Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. John? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Katia. Present. Good evening. Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night. Guillermo, please, could you wait a little bit for the session after the class, please? Yes, no problem. Thank you. Maritza? Present. Good. Marvin, no, no, and no. Gustavo? Present, DJ. Good night. Good. Uh, Oscar? Present. Thank you. Rosalie? Present. Good night. Thank you. Teresa. Okay, my friends, have a good night. Uh, see you on, well, tomorrow, on Friday. Mañana viernesito, okay? Have a good, good night. Good night, Cancel. everyone. Cancel. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, Guillermo, we're going to have some minutes. Uh, if you want to talk about any topic, uh, I don't know if there is some doubts uh, related to any topic that you consider we can have like a feedback, like a review of some uh, of any class, okay? Any topic, grammar, structure, vocabulary, conversation, uh, or if everything is okay, if we are like nice with no problem. Mm, well, uh, I think that everything is clear for me. Okay, everything. So we, we have a good explanation of everything that we we see in the class. Okay, uh, Guillermo, I have some 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 questions. Uh, have you had uh, some uh, English courses before? After taking. <clears throat> In support uh, program? Mm, yes, but it was a long time ago, uh, around like 2013. Yeah, well, yeah, a couple of years ago, but yes. I, I noticed that you have good vocabulary, you have fluency, you have good listening, and when you text, uh, you are writing, you are uh, in, a, I consider you are in an advanced level. I don't know if you had the opportunity to have a, an exam to please you, to put you in another level, or you just began the, this program from the module number one. Mm, for the model two. Ah, okay. Number one was skip, okay? So you started uh, on module number two, okay. Just because uh, I was with Academia Europea. Oh, okay, yes. But uh, they, ellos como que rompieron relación con Insafor por un tema de, de documentación. Era un solo relajo en el trabajo entonces. Ajá. Okay. So... Me tocó cambiarme. Y pues un compañero del trabajo ya estaba en esas clases y me dijo que le parecían bien. Y los demás como por el, los horarios que ofrecían eran como que no, no me salía bien. Ok, nice. Uh, in your work, you practice English? I mean, you work with English customers or English manuals, documents, readings or uh, something like that? Or just in Spanish? In yes, uh, the manuals or well, the tools that I use every day are in english are english okay yes okay good, but yeah. the, the information is in spanish but mm -hmm. when you are a um customer representative in mm -hmm. in english uh, you have to to no sé como traducirlo ¿verdad? Porque ah, todo translate en, or interpret okay yes. nice Eh, Guillermo, considero que tienes un buen nivel de inglés. Eh, sí, considero que vas a aprender mucho más. Eh, motivarte nada más a, a, a que termines todos los cursos. No dudo que vas a obtener mejoras eh, laborales, otros puestos, 
eh, otras oportunidades, eso te abre más. Yo consideraría que ahora donde estás trabajando me parece que, que estás bien, ¿verdad? Que estás estable, ¿verdad? Pero igual eh, considero que el inglés, así como tú lo manejas, eh, poco a poco te va a ir abriendo más oportunidades, ¿verdad? Sí, la verdad. Sí, sí, Pero sí. que... La, las personas que me han escuchado dicen como que ah, se te escucha eso como que fluido, ¿verdad? no te cuesta mucho. Y, y... Pero yo antes no podía nada, o sea, yo hasta me escondía de los profesores. Yo lo sé, cuando estaba, y yo no... cuando estaba más pequeña, entonces mi mamá me metió a clases cuando iba como a noveno grado y... Hice como nueve meses, creo, ahí en el ITCA, y a mí me gustó mucho quizás el método que ellos tenían. Sí metían bastante gramática, nos hacían escribir un montón, y siento que en nueve meses, bueno, quizás en los primeros seis meses yo aprendí un montón y ya sabía cómo dar una exposición yo solo y súper fluido, pero como lo dejé de estudiar, pues ya después sentí que me costaba como un poco más. Sí, entonces que hay esos, esos altibajos, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí. qué bueno, mira, qué bueno, este, ya estamos casi a la mitad de, de, del curso, si te das cuenta, eh, trato de darles palabras o frases que aunque a tú que tienes un, un nivel un poquito más avanzado, eh, espero que también te sirvan. Sí, Porque sí, sí sirve un montón. ¿Verdad? Porque en tu caso, tú más que los demás, todavía tienes que expandir tu vocabulario para que sea más nutrido. Porque las sí, frases, claro. ya todo, todos estos temas creo que los captas bastante con facilidad, ¿verdad? No, no, no creo que sean complicados para ti. Pero sí, en el tema de, de, de tener un, un vocabulario más extenso, otro tipo de frases, te va a hacer ver todavía más natural, mamá. Que, sí, pues... me acuerdo que cuando apliqué al trabajo, bueno, en la empresa en la que estoy, yo iba para inglés, ¿verdad? O sea, porque mi hermano era supervisor en ese entonces en, en la empresa. Y me dijo, te voy a referir, me dice, pero vos vas para inglés, porque era un open house, pero para español, ¿verdad? Iba también gente inglés o portugués, pero cuando yo hice las pruebas, pues, o sea, como nunca había aplicado a un call center, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces fue como que no me esperaba mucho eso. Yo había estado quizás como unos tres meses en E4CC y como que me ayudó en la fluidez y... Yo me quedé como en un 80%, o sea, me faltaba un poco, ¿eh? y sentí que en cosas bien básicas, yo sentí que ellos me poncharon, cosas sí. así como verbos, cosas así, entonces, como en Inforce y es como que le den un refuerzo de eso, ¿eh? entonces, eso fue como que a mí me quedó, ah, la madre, quizás al final no lo voy a terminar de aprender bien, y eso me bloquea un poco. ¿eh? La verdad y, que sí. Por ejemplo, uno de mis mejores amigos fue... Y también lo batearon a él de una, pero él ni siquiera pasó las pruebas así como psicológicas y todas esas cosas, ¿verdad? Pero yo como salí súper bien, me dieron chance de entrar en español y ahí he estado, ¿verdad? Pero por cuestiones de la vida es que es como que he cuidado esa parte de mí, pero digo yo, no necesito meterle porque si logro certificarme y pulirme bien en inglés, pues me puedo ir a otro lado a ganar incluso más. Entonces, de hecho, es como la idea. sí, de hecho, eh, yo creo que ya, ya podrías aplicar. Ahora, recuerda que también, este, bueno, yo estuve trabajando en call center y yo me di cuenta también que en los recruiters, a veces cuando están, pues, eh, ahí, ¿verdad?, contratando, a veces también se clavan en ciertas cosas, como dicen, en ciertas cositas, cuando realmente eh, llegan muchos a, a, que van a aplicar y tienen un buen in inglés. Entonces, sí, no cositas no, como ner ejemplo, los la... nervios, inseguridad, pero no es que tu inglés sea malo. Ya. Yeah. Ajá, porque yo pasé la entrevista bien con la, con la señorita que me entrevistó, ¿verdad? pero fue más que todo con eso, esas cosas como de gramática, un poco de gramática, los verbos. Eh, de hecho, mi mejor amigo se fue, aplicó en Sykes. Y como ellos dan como un mes, creo, en la Sykes Academy, sí, sí, entonces sí. le dijeron, si vos estás aquí un mes y te vamos a hacer las pruebas otra vez y las pasadas, dale, pues, y ahí, y pues él lo logró, y yo dije, quizás si me hubiera ido con él, no hubiera aceptado esta propuesta de trabajo, quizás ya estuviera en más como... Sí, pero, pero recuerda que todo eso es aprendizaje, lo que pasa es que yo he notado que en ciertos casos uno se frustra. Sí, eh, yo, yo me sentí y, así como... Y, pero no, Guillermo, yo te recomendaría que aplicaras. 
considero que sí tienes las capacidades para hacerlo, solo que recuerda que a veces también este tipo de entrevistas, eh, sí, uno requiere un poquito más de, de, de saber cómo es, eh, digamos, cómo, cómo es, ¿verdad?, la configuración de las entrevistas, ¿verdad?, tener una idea a qué vas, pero... Sí, eh. Eh, Sí, porque me acuerdo que una vez sí me animé a aplicar a una cuenta de Telus, pero y ¿Hace fui a cuánto? mano. Eso, eso fue, quiero ver, en 2019 fue, porque creo que estaban abriendo una cuenta de, de Epic Games, que era lo de, como el soporte de esa cosa de Fortnite. Y pues yo lo juego y normal todo, ¿verdad? sí sí sabía del tema, pero era como que... No sé, los reclutadores eran... Yo lo sentí como un poco clasista, porque eran Así como son. que... Ajá, me fijaba mucho que si era... Como muy moreno, te miraban así como bien despectivo, te miraban como andaba vestido. Yo he notado, Por ejemplo, pero una bastante chera que... eso. Ajá, entonces iba una chera que no sabía nada, pero como era bien bonita, puy, el reclutador casi le hizo las pruebas porque le llegó a ayudar, cosa que no podían hacer. Y al final me dijo un chero... No te preocupes, me dice, al final esas son las bichas que valen chonga ahí adentro, me dice, rápido la sacan. Me... Sí, fíjate que lastimosamente se dan ese tipo de situaciones que yo he visto, por eso es que te comentaba que a veces son cuestiones ya personales eh, y cuestiones que no son objetivas, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso cuando te dicen a ah, los verbos y todo eso, créeme que en eso ya hay script, o sea, ya hay diálogo que vos decís y decís, ahí no te pones a, 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 a platicar profundamente de, de ciertos temas con el cliente, tenés que tres, cinco minutos solucionar el problema. Entonces, te sugeriría que, que sí intentaras eh, nuevamente, yo creo que tienes mucha Porque función, yo, ¿no? yo he hablado con, ¿qué? con compañeros ahí del trabajo que están en el día a día en inglés y me dicen, mira, aquí lo mismo decís todos los días, me Exacto. dicen, solo tenés que aprenderte como las mismas palabras, me Sí, dicen, así es. quizás unas dos o tres formas diferentes de decírselas, porque hay gente que te entiende la primera... Otra gente que más que todos los latinos pelean por otra cosa, los gringos les decís mil dólares tienen el pisto, te lo van a pagar, si no, no les. Y eso Entonces, sí funciona, sí, me dice. sí, sí, eso ya, ya, ya de un script, ya todo eso es mecanizado. Así que solo son esos filtros que yo considero que ponen a mucha gente que no saben mayor cosa de recursos humanos, ni no saben también de ciertos filtros objetivos, sino que se dejan ir como que para lo que ellos piensan, ¿verdad? Y eso les hace que, 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 que se subleven más, ¿verdad? Que se eleven más. Pero sí, Guillermo, así que pues animarte, ¿verdad? Te felicito, espero que sigas así siempre pues muy activo en las clases, veo que quieres aprender aún más y espero que te estén eh, pues pareciendo las clases, intento que hablen más, poco a poco Sí, que vayan hablando la más. verdad es que lo he ido anotando porque es como desde el módulo 2 es como que el, no sé, he sentido como el cambio en los teachers que van más enfocados como que cosas más básicas, como que las vaya comprendiendo el grupo de ahí el módulo 3 fue un poco más intenso el, el El teacher en el sentido que quieren que uno hable más, ¿verdad? No lo estoy diciendo en, en tenso, en mal sentido. Y así, vea, igual con usted, pues, yo lo he sentido así como que le gusta darnos como más tips. Nos pasa, por ejemplo, eso de la actividad del speaking activity que nos pasa siempre en WhatsApp. Eso es la primera vez que lo, lo ponen en estos cuatro módulos, vea, que he estado. Es la primera vez para mí. Está bien porque uno practica más y uno dice, se pone a pensar, ¿verdad? pues, Ajá. que lo cómo digo es responder o de qué manera eso. lo digo verdad Ajá. Uh, Sí, eso, eso, los speaking activities es metodología propia mía, ¿verdad? No sé si otro teacher lo hace, eh, pero me gusta para que los demás, porque hay algunos que yo sé que si te pregunto eso, tú me lo vas a contestar, pero también hay otros estudiantes o participantes que les cuesta. Entonces ellos practican y ya generan más seguridad al hablar. Entonces lo Sí, que yo yo quiero yo siento es que motivar. pra practicar me hace falta un poco, pero hay veces por cuestiones de la vida, ¿verdad? uno como que no le no le queda mucho tiempo, El llega tiempo ya cansado es complicado. a la casa, entonces, pero voy a tratar de hacerlo más, ¿verdad? porque hay que tratar de avanzar, Es pero correcto. sí me queda eso, de hecho, el teacher anterior me lo dijo también, eh, él pues nos compartía cosas así como listas de verbos, o estructuras, cosas que pues son muy útiles en el día Todo a día, sirve, ¿verdad? todo sirve. Así que pues, ánimo Guillermo, ¿verdad? Estamos pendientes, entonces ahí, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok, my friend? Sí, Have a good buenas night. noches, nos vemos. Gracias.